What is up guys, gals, all of you awesome, awesome games and gamers of different shapes and sizes, it is me Josh Aguino Proxy bringing you some Timefall 2 today on the PlayStation 4, and it's pretty freaking awesome. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to enjoy this video, and why not subscribe for more Titanfall 2 content in the future, but for now we are focusing on Titanfall 2. This is attrition, obviously the main mode I'd probably say, or maybe the second main mode, because we've seen a lot of people really liking Bounty Hunter as well, but in this one you're basically focusing on taking down pilots and the NPCs that are on their team as well, along with also destroying their titans. Now one thing you'll notice here is that I did actually activate my grapple hook and I'm actually going to go over the top of the map. This actually has multi layers to it in this map. You have the top part, you have the bottom part, which is really cool. So generally pretty much two different battlegrounds. And what I like to do on this map is go over the top and then that means I can actually do a lot of flankage. It means I can take down those enemy AI a lot faster doing some really cool sliding moves there actually as well. Just, just to show off, you know, impress the ladies. <laughs> All the robots, because there are also robots in this turn. You never know if robots might be sexually attracted to me. But it also allows me, as you can see here, to do some flanking and actually do some sneak attacks too, allowing me to get my Titan a lot faster and also put the team score a lot further as well. Now, with that being said, you may notice that even though I did a lot of kills out on pilots, we didn't really get many points. This is because in attrition, the aim of the game is still to actually destroy the Titans and the NPCs. So when you see those little AI soldiers, please focus on killing them because it will actually help your team gain those points a lot faster. I know that killing a pilot it might be quite fun, but it's not the main focus. I mean, this is one of the things, if you do see an enemy pilot surrounded by NPCs and say the AI, well, say the AI is left on the field, but the, the pilot kind of runs away, nice little melee bitch slap from me there as well on that enemy pilot. But say the enemy pilot kind of runs away, focus on those AI first and then go for the pilot because that is still going to add to your overall score. We've actually been scanned here, which means that the enemy team can actually see me through walls at the moment. This is something you'll find as well is that there's actually a boost ability called Map Hack. This actually allows an enemy player, once they filled their titan meters to a certain length to get a boost ability. Gonna try and use a grapple hook here, but Sally, I did miss! That is a bit of a shame. You can actually do that on NPCs and pilots by going in for a grapple hook melee, and it's really hard to do because they get a chance to kind of, like, counter you while doing it. But the boost abilities, especially the map pack, reveals all enemy pilots on the visual field. So something to be careful of when you do actually see that, try and kill the enemy player while they're using that because I believe it does actually deactivate it. But we now actually have our Titan with the first person with the Titan on the field. A little bit of a risk reward here because generally what I would do is release my Titan when an enemy Titan has been brought out because that means you can kind of counteract the Titan. But it also allows you to kill lots of NPCs, as you know, or pilots really quickly as well. But remember that when you're using a Titan, you do go against NPCs. You can pretty much just walk all over them. Like literally not in like a verbal sense, like going, oh, I'm gonna out you in a rap battle, son. You can actually like walk over them, like mowing the lawn with your feet, but as a robot, if it had razor blades. I don't think they have razor blades as toes, but if they did, it'd be really cool. But you can actually do that to the NPCs, and it means that you actually get all of those NPCs that fall down from the sky a lot faster, as you're probably going to see here. Look, I just, just walk over them. <laughs> you don't even have to waste your melee attack. So, pretty cool, pretty fantastic. But you may also notice that I am actually using Tone. Now, Tone is actually classed as a very difficult Titan to use, but I'd probably say it's one of the easier ones. I don't know if anybody else agrees with this. Now, the reason why I say this, and it is really odd that it has a 3-star difficulty rating, is that its 40mm cannon is actually incredibly powerful. Probably one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Probably next to Legion's machine gun. Now, this actually kind of makes sense, seeing as they're both pretty much next to each other when it comes to the Titan selects in the loadouts. But, if you're really good at aiming with it, you can pretty much teach it like a sniper rifle, in a sense. Because, as you're going to see here, look, pop! That's a one-shot, one-kill, two-eight enemy pilot. And, again, it's kind of just like leading the shot, in a sense. It's like a, an M Grand. Now, we did actually just get taken by surprise by an enemy pilot there who has nicked my battery. Now, this is actually one of my uh, earlier videos, I'd probably say. Like, I've obviously kind of got into, like, Generation 2 now and other stuff like that. But when it comes to getting rodeoed by an enemy pilot who tries to take your battery, I wasn't thankfully able to get my battery there and actually get a shield and a bit of my health back. But when that actually does happen to you, one thing to know is that when you pop that electric sh um, smoke to actually spin around in a circle. Now, you might be thinking that's a little bit weird, but the reason why you do that is because the enemy pilot actually jumps from the back of you. So that means that they actually go from behind you even when they jump off. So when you do that spin, it'll actually throw them into a very odd direction, but it also means that they'll generally do a double jump because of the confusing spinning. And while they're doing that double jump, they'll be still stuck in the electric smoke. It's something that I find really, really useful. It's only something that I've ended up using in the last week. I'd probably say not in the last week, but the last few days within the week. And it's, it's probably assured me a pilot kill within that electric smoke each and every time, which is really, really awesome. So you may notice that a pilot actually took my 
my <laughs> tree again, but I was able to get even more health back, so this is something of a benefit too. Once someone actually takes your core battery, which obviously loses your health and your shield and such, you actually gain more back when you retrieve it. It's kind of like a reward for you actually fighting to get that battery back, which is pretty fantastic. Also activating my special ability there while I was able to use on an enemy titan. We actually have another enemy titan here, which is an Ion trying to take me down. He's actually charging up his shoulder cannon there and was able to hit me just over my shoulder blade on that wall, which was very lucky of him. Now you may notice as well that I'm actually firing and then using a combination of rocket fire as well within that 40mm cannon fire too. Nice little combo that you can use. Now what that actually allows me to do is, oh we've got that ultimate there just going off as well, that's so epic. Don't you think that's freaking epic? I think that's pretty freaking epic. And the main thing too when it comes to those uber abilities, you can actually control that in midair as you saw in my missile bending video. Not as good as what I've generally done like recently but what you can actually do is you can fire that missile ultimate into the air and then control it downwards onto the enemies and they won't even kind of like suspect the missiles coming at them really cool tactic very difficult to do but very useful for surprise attacks with those ultimates and again you can control it around the map too so if you fight it at a perfect length and you're really good at say grenade throwing and you can angle it just correctly when aiming those uber missiles you can do some serious crazy kills from across the map and you're not even there got an enemy pilot there with the bat you're gonna try and take them down as fast as possible he is actually doing a lot a lot of damage to me flowing around like a fairy how dare you give me that battery give me it i think i think did i actually kill him i'm not too sure where, he where did he go oh there he is he actually went up on the top now that is sneaky now i'm gonna actually go back down here and try and tear this npc out with my grapple hook as i said you can actually do grapple hook takedowns with the grapple hook itself which is pretty cool pretty awesome also doing a little bit of hit fire there and killing that enemy pilot fantastic i generally find that the hit fire is a lot more useful than aiming down sights i don't know if anybody else agrees with that even when you do burst fire it just seems really really powerful I, I don't know, this seems to be like a running trend when it comes to a lot of first person shooters now, is that firing from the hip is a lot more accurate. But then again, I am actually using the ability to run and shoot at the same time, which is actually a gun ability you can unlock once you level up that gun a lot. And it seems to be way more accurate than just firing down this. I don't even, I don't even agree with that. I don't know if anyone wants to agree with that. Now, with that being said, you may notice that my Titan's filler meter on the bottom left is actually nearly full. Now, by going on top of this friendly Titan, I can actually give it some health back with that charge battery that I just picked up, and it's will actually fill up my titan meter now just to know it doesn't fill it up all the way to the max but obviously because i was over half it gave me the other half as kind of like a gift so it's really cool actually to help your teammates out with those batteries don't be greedy and try and keep them for your own titan because you will actually get your titan faster if you give your teammates the batteries instead and obviously as well it might give them their health back if they lost some health and also give them a shield instantly too really useful really awesome now we do actually have my titan here and i am actually going to be able to use my uh, weapon combinations now i was actually trying to say earlier that when you use your 40 millimeter cannon you will see like a little bit of like a white lock on on the enemy titans this is a unique ability to Tone, which is the Titan I'm controlling, because his missile pods can only be used by locking onto enemies, as you can see here, but the only way to lock onto enemies is by firing at them. So what you need to do is you need to do, I think, at least three lock-on shots, and then you'll be able to use your holy missile pods, which is really awesome, really useful, as you can see here. I'm going to fire them off here, but the running is way too quick to actually be hit by those ends of dodging him. I just got shot by a enemy Tone there by his ultimate, which is not very nice. Actually going into emergency mode here, and sadly did get murdered by the enemy Ronin was actually popping my electric smoke there to try and protect me and put a bit of a melee gap in between me and the Ronin because it's something obviously the Ronin can actually finish you off with the melee finisher with its sword and you don't want, I mean I died anyway but you don't want that either way. What's one, this is one thing I'll notice too, this is something I don't know if anyone wants to agree with me, I'm going to try and take this battery and completely fail by getting popped by that electric smoke but when you actually get into emergency mode you'll find that a lot of enemy players will rush at you with their tights and just risk all of their health just so they can try and do an emergency finisher on you. I, I don't know if anybody's ever actually noticed that. It's, I, I've noticed it quite a bit. It's like, it's like, oh, it's like a, a cookie that I want, but it's actually less of a reward to actually do that melee finisher with your titan than to actually just stay back and finish them by standard because it means that you lose your titan, obviously, which gives the enemy team points, but also means that, you know, you just you lose to the Titan. <laughs> it doesn't have any of its health left for doing like the next fight and helping you get even more points. You may notice there's a little bit of lag going on here. The Ronin did actually just do a shockwave uppercut with its sword there. Really cool ability for the Ronin. Did just try to drop a grenade in there. What happened? I think I may have got shot by a like a grenade or something? I'm not too sure. It was a really crazy shot though. How I died on that shoulder without any electric smoke, I'm not too sure. But we did actually win this one. An epic battle, I must admit. So many kills, so many epic time takedowns, some really good little confrontations against enemy titans. Also the fact that I could show you tone and what it can actually do. And again, you've got that grapple hook gameplay, you've got the just murdering enemy pilots with titans is just so fun as you can see there too. And obviously as well, pink gun. I mean, who can deny the pink gun? 
There is actually an enemy Reaper here. These are actually enemy NPCs. It is really good to take those down because you will get even more points when fighting the, you know, the NPCs as well. Because I think it's a Soldier gives one point, a Sentinel gives two, and then a Reaper gives, obviously, a lot more, but they're a lot more deadly, so it kind of, like, justifies that. Now, I'm actually fighting multiples of the enemy team here. They're trying to get to their dropship, though. I'm getting shot all over the place, which is not friendly. Using my Uber here to actually break through that turn shield and then take him down. He's actually activating his emergency nuke ability, which is a special ability that you can choose. Go to eject. That was not a good use of my town. <laughs> I did take down somebody, though. I'm going to drop down this enemy Scorch now, who obviously destroyed my, my time, which was very sad, taking that core... What would you call it? A battery? It's called... I just had a moment of blankness. Oh my god, that was a little bit emotional. Oh my goodness. Am I... Am I gonna lose all my... I'm gonna lose all my intelligence. I'm, I'm going blank. I'm going blank. <laughs> I sound like the girl from The Ring there. Oh, is that the grudge? I'm not too sure. But! Comment section below. Let me know what do you think to Titanfall 2. I would love, love, love to know. I love it. Remember to drop a like in the comment section below with a comment because I would love to know if you like this video. And also subscribe for more Titanfall 2 combat in the future. But it's been me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, bringing you some Titanfall 2. And I will see you all next time. Ciao for now.